Getting right into today's video, we're just starting off the video by prepping my natural nails. So I actually went ahead and buffed, cleaned up my cuticles, and applied my tips off camera. So now we're just going in with the Triple X Bond from Not Polish and applying that to my natural nail. This is my primer that I use. Now I'm going to be using the Profiles Backstage Textured Pasties. These are their stickers. They have a ton on their website, so make sure you guys check them out. But I decided to use these because I've been stashing these and I have yet to use them. So here we are. We're going to be taking the Not Polished Sweet Spot Acrylic. I used this in my last video. If you guys missed out on that video, I did the sweet version of my nail design on my other hand. So make sure you guys check that out. I did a 3D ice cream cone. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do that, check that video out. But I'm just adding that same color called Sweet Spot on the natural nail portion of my nails. And I feel like it goes very very well with the colors that i'm going to be using that's why i decided to choose this one and it has a very nice light shimmer to it so now i'm taking a combination of so juicy from the sea glass collection from kiara sky along with that one i'm using fine apple as well so i'm going to be using both of those to add a little bit of color and i'm basically just kind of tie dyeing them onto the clear part of the tip and i feel like I wanted to keep it nice and translucent, but also incorporate the colors from the pasties onto my nails. So I'm basically going to be doing just that. I'm adding them on there, and then I'm going to go directly in with my pasties and stick them on wherever I feel like it'll look cute. So I definitely was kind of skeptical about doing this, but... I saw somebody on Instagram briefly do it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's how I could use them. They are textured, so they kind of bubble up. And I always felt like if I did it on top of the nail, it obviously wasn't going to last. So encapsulating them just fixes the whole issues that I had been having. Any concerns that I had about them coming off, they're definitely going to be nice and encapsulated so they will not come off peel off chip off whatever you want to call it so i'm basically going to be showing you guys the process on just a few nails because again it gets pretty repetitive and then we're going to be encapsulating them so on this nail i decided to add the pasties before i went in with the acrylic just to kind of see which method i preferred and quite frankly I liked it better with a base of acrylic. So because you have a little bit of monomer, I feel like it almost kind of melts the pasty nicely onto the nail. And if you put it directly onto your tip, it kind of lifts up at the sides. But because it's nice and flat, it didn't make a huge difference. But I preferred it to lay nicely rounded on the sides and none of it stuck up with the base acrylic. So... Just kind of a quick little pointer on that so you guys can kind of figure out which method you guys prefer. So I'm doing the same thing. We added Sweet Spot on the natural nail and then I'm just kind of dabbing on there those two sea glass colors from Kiara Sky. I went ahead and finished the rest of the application on my nails, including the encapsulation portion. I'm going to go ahead and go in with clear acrylic from Not Polish. It's my favorite clear, super, super crystal clear as well. So make sure you guys check them out if you guys are wanting a super clear acrylic. I'm just going to be going over top of the nail art and basically the rest of my nail because I want to add that nice thickness to them since they are really long. I want to make sure that I'm building up that acrylic nicely so that they do not break or crack on me. So I'm just going to go in and apply that. Also forgot to mention the brush that I'm using is the Sculpted Like It Taught in the number 12 from Profiles Backstage. It's their black one and I love their brushes as well. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. Once everything is nice and dry, we're going to go in with our filing process. For this step, I am using my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick File. As you guys know, they are my go-to favorites. Tons of other brands have amazing files as well, but I feel like i just gotten so used to these. So I will forever have these in my heart. But we're going to go in and file the sides. Make sure that the shape is nice and crisp. And then I'm going in on the tip as well. 
And then I'm actually becoming obsessed with hand filing all over again. I used to really, really like it. And then I got used to using an e-file, so I kind of just stuck to that. But recently, I started hand filing again and I missed it. So here we are, hand filing away the surface of the nail. I feel like you get such a nice shape to them and you're able to fully see exactly where you need to file a little bit more. So if you're struggling with the smoothness of your nail using an e-file, I always recommend going back in with the hand file and you'll be able to really fully see. Now with my cuticle area, I am going in with my e-file very lightly. And for that process, I'm going in with my 5-in-1 Pro Bit from Kiara Sky at a speed of about 11,000 RPMs. And I'm just going in and filing it to make sure that everything is nice and flush to the natural nail. Now for the nail art, we're going to be adding a little piece of orange slice onto my ring finger. I did leave the base with only the Sweet Spot acrylic from Not Polish. So it could like contrast a little bit from the other nails. So we're gonna be adding that on top. I'm using the color 824 in the gel polish collection from Beatles. I've used that previously on my channel. So I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I've been doing videos out of my house. It just makes a lot more sense with the baby, but I've been struggling. A lot of the time I forget stuff at the salon that I need for the specific design that I'm trying to create. So that means I have to scavenger hunt through my stash of nail products here at my house, but we're making it happen. I feel like some way, somehow I always end up finding what I need. So here we are. We're going to make the best of it. We're using this gel polish. It is a little thin for my liking, but it's working and it's saving my life for this design so we cannot complain i went ahead and put it in my led light from kiara sky for a full minute you want to make sure that you are fully curing it i did add it a little bit on the thicker side so that it adds a little bit of texture on top of my nail so make sure you guys are fully curing that if you do the same now we're gonna go in with the frosting gel paint from profiles backstage it's my favorite and i'm actually using one of their nail art brushes as well it's super super thin which i am obsessed with it's perfect for the little lines that i'm trying to draw now mind you i am drawing this with my non-dominant hand so it was a little bit of a struggle it took me a minute but i was able to kind of figure it out and it worked out we're good we're making it happen so i'm basically cutting the circle in like a pizza slice type of vibe and then we're going to be connecting them up top as you can see right there i'm basically doing like a tiny little triangle doing one straight line all the way down or up i guess you can say it and then i'm basically connecting and rounding the little edges and i just repeat that until i'm done with the whole orange slice so tiny little triangle and then do one long line and then here i am trying to round it up a little bit and connect it it was a struggle not gonna lie i ended up having to do a little bit of cleanup which you will see a little bit later on
Now to bring it a little bit more to life, I took 824 from the Beatles gel polish and 823, which is a red and an orange. And I'm mixing those together to kind of deepen up the orange color. And I'm adding it to the outline of the orange slice, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension and to separate the two, because I feel like it was getting a little bit washed out into the background of the acrylic that I used. Now I'm taking some white gel paint and that same orange color and I mixed them together to get a lighter shade and I'm just drawing like little veiny details on the inside of the orange to again try to make it look a little bit more realistic. And now to create our juicy drip, I'm going to go ahead and top coat first and then I'm going to go on top with that so that it has a nice contrast shiny to matte obviously. So I'm using matte top coat from Not Polish, adding a thin layer of that onto all of my nails. And then I'm going to be mixing the orange 824 color with some shiny top coat from Not Polish to create the drip design. Now, of course, always remember to cure in between layers. I know I don't show that on camera. It gets a little tricky to do that, but I always try mentioning it when I do cure. So I went ahead and cured the top coat. I'm going in with the clear orange mixture that I created to do those little drip designs. And then we're gonna be layering it on about two or three times in between curing layers, of course, and just to give, again, a little bit more dimension to it. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time.